This is one of the good question for the your RMO preparation. <clears throat> In this question, there is certain key point is there which you should know it because I seen that so many times in the RMO they used to ask similar concept based question. I am not saying similar question, similar concept based question they used to ask it. So first understand this question, don't bother about that I am just giving you solution. The solution contains the key point which you have to capture, right? The first things <coughs> in this question is saying what if first understand meaning of see 50% problem solved if you understood the question carefully. For any positive integer n, whatever data is giving, small small data, you have to capture that data. For positive integer n, so when we write solution, we should write all the data in properly. n belongs to positive integers, n belongs to positive integer. Order pair x, y are positive integer means x and y is also positive integers, right? They are saying for positive integer n, s n is the number of order pair. Order pair, I hope all of you know, order pair means what? If you change the order, the, so suppose one of the solution is 1 comma 2, to other solution 2 comma 1, these two are the different solution because here x value is 1 and y value 2, here x value 2 and y value 1. So order pair means what coming? Order if you change it, it will be considered as a different solution. So order pair you have to find out. Sn is the number of order pair means how many solution of this equation. Suppose this equation has been 10 solution for n equal to 7. Just I'm not saying that is the answer. For n equal to 7, suppose this equation 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to 1 by 7 have 10 solution have 10 solution, 10 solution means like that 10 solution will be there. So it means they are saying S7 equal to 10. This is the, what the meaning of this statement. Sn equal to means n equal to 7. So Sn is the 10, for example. So Sn is the representing number of solution. It's not solution. It's a number of solution for different value of n. Satisfy this equation, find the n for which Sn equal to 5 means for what value of n number of order pair number of solution is 5. This is the main thing behind this question. Take it. Let's do the things. First thing this equation will write it in proper way. We will say x plus y divided by xy equal to 1 by n which implies n into x plus y equal to xy. This is the first key point which I wanted to share with you. This is a very common type of equations. Common type of equation means this one. Whenever this kind of equation is coming, 100% sure some factorization is possible. Whenever this kind of equation is coming, x, y can be a, b, anything. Some factorization is possible. What factorization? Easily you can understand, you can shift one side, so we will get xy minus nx minus ny equal to 0. Yes or no? From here I can take x common, so I will get y minus n minus ny. Achha, y minus n again I find you get, I will be happy. So why not plus n square here and right side also n square. So from here I can take minus y common, so we will get what? x into y minus n minus n common to y minus n equal to n square. I think now it's a visible to all of you what's happening here. So this will become what x minus n into y minus n equal to n square. This is the perfect solution for this particular. It is very very common. Actually you should if you are remembering this, it's a very easy for you. Whenever you get sum of two variable equal to product of variable, but some having n something integer multiplication, so it can be written this way. Of course, n can come this side also, the reverse way you can change it. I'm sure able to understand everybody, right? So this is the one of the solutions. Miss factorization we can do. So this equation, we can write it as what? In the same logic, x minus n 
into y minus n equal to n square equal to n square ठीक this is the what we got it actually both are same either this equation you write or this equation you write both are same thing just explanation अब let's read the question x is positive integer y is positive integer n is positive integer and we have to find out the number of solution correct okay the product of two variable equal to n square why not for simplicity we can take x minus n equal to a and y minus n equal to b we can consider no doubt about it so x minus n equal to a and y minus n equal to b i consider so this equation you will become a b equal to n square a b equal to n square acha whatever number of solution of this will come same number of solution x and y will come because this is the linear relation one to one yes or no it's a linear relation so we'll say that ki we are focusing on the ab equal to n square i'm sure able to understand everybody right ab equal to n square we are going to solve it we have to find out number of solution of this theek hai n i do not know only thing i know it's a some positive integer so what i am going to take n all of you understood na ki number of solution of this equation represent the number of solution of this equation because there is a linear relation and nothing i doing i am replacing x minus n equal to a and y minus n equal to b since n is constant so suppose a equal to 3 to x will become 3 plus n only thing the value will change but number of solution will not change because they are having direct linear relation are you getting my point or not have you understood suppose somebody say ki bhai x plus 5 equal to 10 how many solution one solution if i replace x plus 5 by a a equal to 10 then also one solution to so number of solution will not change in case if you are changing the variable transfer linearly if you are transferring then the number of solution will not change and i am interested in number of solution i am not interested in the exact solution to so ab equal to n square i have to solve that's all nothing else i have to do n is positive integer theek hai can i take n as a p1 power alpha 1 into p2 power alpha 2 and so on pn power alpha n not this n let's call it m alpha m yes or no b some positive integer can be break into the uh, prime number that prime may have the power i can assume that ki this is the power is alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and so on. i am putting it here to so, ab equal to p1 power 2 alpha 1 because n square is there na p2 power 2 alpha 2 and so on pm power 2 alpha m correct If I ask you, can you tell me number of factor of this? Number of factor of this. I don't know. All of you aware of it or not? If any number is there, suppose one number is there, two power three into five power two into seven power one. If I ask you number of divisor, how many divisor of n can be happen? So we'll say three plus one into two plus one into one plus one. Yes or no? Number of divisor should be this much. I hope this formula everybody knowing it. It's very simple to derive also. So number of divisor. Whenever you have to get number of divisor, just write that number into the product of the prime number and check what is the power. That can be proved by using combinatorics. That can write as a power and that is equal to three plus one into two plus one into one plus one. So this is what is coming. So what is the number of divisor of this? What is the number of divisor of this? Two alpha one plus one. This is alpha one. Sorry, into two alpha two plus one. So on two alpha m plus one. Agree or not? Number of divisor. This is number of divisor. Yes. Up. What they say? The number of solution of this equation is five. Miss. this number of solution of this is 5 it means this number of divisor must be 
भाई फाइव मीन्स वॉट फाइव कैन बी रिटर्न एज अ फाइव इंटू वन आर वन इंटू फाइव नो अदर ऑप्शन इट मीन्स नंबर ऑफ डिवाइजर मस्ट बी फाइव तो हियर दिस मस्ट बी द फाइव शुड कम फाइव इंटू वन फाइव इंटू वन तो दिस शुड बी द फॉर्म ऑफ फाइव इंटू वन इंटू वन भाई नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट मीन्स नंबर ऑफ डिवाइजर इज फाइव फाइव सोल्यूशन इज कमिंग तो फाइव सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन वेन कैन हैपन वेन द नंबर ऑफ डिवाइजर इज फाइव देन ओनली इट कैन बी हैपन इफ आई से ए बी इक्वल टू मे बी ए बी इक्वल टू फाइव हाउ मेनी सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन यू विल से दैट की नंबर ऑफ डिवाइजर ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन विल बी वन प्लस वन टू मीन्स ओनली टू सोल्यूशन इज पॉसिबल वाई बिकॉज दे आर इंटीजर ना दे आर इंटीजर्स तो ओनली टू सोल्यूशन वट इज द सोल्यूशन सर ए इक्वल टू फाइव बी इक्वल टू वन आर ए इक्वल टू वन बी इक्वल टू फाइव नो अदर पॉसिबिलिटी दे आर सेइंग पॉजिटिव डिवाइजर बी के लिए पॉजिटिव इंटीजर दीज आर पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स अच्छा सम ऑफ यू मे थिंक वन डाउट कि सर हाउ यू नो एक्स एंड वाई गिवन पॉजिटिव हाउ यू नो दैट कि ए एंड बी आर पॉजिटिव यस फॉर दैट यू कैन सी द ओरिजिनल क्वेश्चन ओरिजिनल क्वेश्चन इज वॉट योर वन बाई एक्स प्लस वन बाई वाई इक्वल टू वन बाई एन ओरिजिनल फॉर्म थिंक केयरफुली x, y, n are positive integer. If you want this summation should be one by n, so this should be less than one by n as well as this should be less than one by n. That means one by x should be less than one by n. You may say, sir, maybe this is one by n. If this is the one by n, this should be zero, which is not possible. One by y cannot be zero. So well, it should be less than one by n. This will be less than one by n. If one by x less than one by n, that says x will be greater than n. Similarly, y should be greater than n, x greater than n, y greater than n. So, hundred percent a and b are positive integers. If a and b are positive integers, so number of divisor will represent the number of solution. Yes or no? If I say a b equal to, let's think about ten. So, ten how will you write? Two power one into five power one. So, number of divisor will be what? One plus one into one plus one. Means four, number of divisor will be four. Yes or no? And surely you can cross check it. Four will come. How it will four will come? Maybe a equal to one, b equal to ten, or a equal to two, b equal to five, or a equal to ten, uh, b equal to one, or a equal to uh, five, b equal to two. This is the only possibility. Have you understood? So, if you want that ki one equation number of solution, if it integer positive integer, so simply count number of divisor. So number of divisor is there. So now S n is this number of divisor is this much. But they are saying S n equal to five means this should be equal to five. Now think why it will be five. Five is a prime number. Five having that this is the only two factor. It means one of the bracket must be five. Other bracket should be one. One of the bracket should be five and other bracket should be one. Any one can be five. Suppose this is a five. If this is a five, the two alpha one plus one equal to five. So alpha one will be equal to your two. And all other and alpha other. Will be zero. Why? Then only other will become zero. If alpha two is two, then other will be zero. That means a b hundred percent will be equal to I don't know which prime. Some p ones I am taking p one equal to this p one power two. This one p one power alpha equal to how much is it? alpha one equal to two? So al p one equal to four. Means n must be p one square. N must be p one square. Means s n equal to five. S n equal to five only if if n is prime number square. Be clear if you are not qualified. If you are not clear IOKM and uh, you didn't study the IOKM properly, this like this discussion will be. Uh, difficult to understand. I am assuming basic fundamental all of you are having this. The, this is the only for RMO, only for RMO, INMO. This kind of the analysis will be required. 
So what do actually we prove it? Have you understand how many key points are there here? The key point number of factor will be this. Another key point is that if product number of order pair solution of this equation will be equal to number of solution, number of divisor of this, number of divisor will be this. They are saying 5, means this value must be equal to 5. This will be 5 only. If one of them is 5, other should be 1. So suppose this is the 5, so alpha 1 should be 2. And all alpha 2, alpha 3, everything should be 0. Then only other bracket will be 1. It means n will be equal to, basically they ask you n. Na? So n will be equal to, n will be equal to p1 power 2, p2 power 0, p3 power 0, so on pm power 0. That means n must be some prime number square. Whenever n is prime number square, number of roots of that equation will be 100% 5. You can cross check out. You can cross check also. 1 by x, let's verify. n equal to, take any prime, 2 I am taking. 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to 1 by 2. Think carefully. This equation, n equal to 2. No, this equation will not have integral solution. Why so? Because n equal to 2. n should be 2 square, prime square. Means this would be 4. You, how many solution will come? Let's cross, cross check it. What are the possible value? x equal to 1 I am taking. y, uh, this equation. This equation, number of solution. Prime square, 1 by n. So, number of solution of this equation, try to think what will happen. n equal to 2 square I taken, 4. So, 1 and uh, next, otherwise uh, we'll take it from there uh, to make it more clear. A B no. A B equal to n square. N square means to n I am taking four. To n square will be sixteen. So now check it. What the solution will come? One sixteen. One uh, sorry four four. Then uh, 2, 8, then 2, 4, 8, 2, then 16, 1. 5 solution will be there, 5 pair. Means this equation by a b equal to 16 having the same solution as this one. So a b equal to 16 having the total 5 solution. So answer for this, you can verify for taking different different value of the n. So answer for this value for n must be equal to either 4, 2 square or 3 square or 5 square or so on. Any prime square. That is the answer. I am sure all of you understood the key point involved in this question. Okay. Similar kind of question, more we will discuss. Right. Thank you.